Hello and welcome. Today we are here to demonstrate how easy it is to measure noise figure and gain on the Rodian Schwarz FPL 1000 spectrum analyzer. So we're going to start by selecting mode and open up the noise figure option. And here we have an overview button and here we can step through all of the steps to set up the noise figure measurement. So we're going to start under noise source and here we're going to create a table. So we're going to go to table settings and new and give it a name and then we're going to insert values here at 2 gigahertz we're going to enter a value of 13 at 3 gigahertz a value of 14 and now we're going to save that now we're going to go back over to the ENR temp settings and we're going to select table and select the table we just created. Okay? Now we could enter loss input if we needed to, but for this device we're not going to do that. Uh, so now we're going to go to DUT. We're going to set the frequency at 2 gigahertz to start and the number of points to 11. Okay? Then loss output, we don't need to put anything in there. We're going to go under spectrum analyzer and we're going to change the number of averages to 5. And we're going to leave everything else the same there. Under display config, we could get rid of displays or add displays, but I'm going to leave everything in the default for now. Okay, so we're all done setting it up, and now all we need to do is a calibration. We have connected a 28 volt noise source right here to the spectrum analyzer, so all we're going to do now is calibrate. And we can see now the calibration has started, and we can see the progress right here, and we can see it's calibrating. It will switch to ready when we are done. Okay, so now let's check our calibration by selecting run single. And we can see now that we have a good calibration. So now we've connected our noise source up to the device under test and the output of the device under test up to the spectrum analyzer. So now we're just going to start making a measurement by selecting run continuous. And here we see that we have a noise figure between 2 and 3 and gain somewhere around 18 dB of gain. So we've made a noise figure measurement. Now what we're going to do is show you the flexibility of the FPL 1000 by looking at noise figure at multiple with multiple uh, displays. So here I've maximized the noise figure measurement because I want to make several different noise figure measurements. So I'm going to do that by going to mode and then here we have something called duplicate channel setup. When I do that it will duplicate all the settings in a new channel. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do it again. And we'll do it one more time. And now we see this multi view in the upper left. When we select that, we're looking at all four channels at the same time, and we can sequence through all of those channels by simply selecting the sequencer. This would be especially useful for someone that wants to measure noise figure in different frequency bands and maybe look at one and then switch to this mode where they can look at all four bands at the same time. We've shown you how easy it is to measure noise figure and gain with the Rodian Schwarz FPL 1000 spectrum analyzer.